Okay, so you want to set up a business in the Philippines. Well, the first thing I would say is there is a bit of racism in there sometimes. There is a bit of corruption, um, theft. Um, I'll give some examples. I set up a call center, uh, sorry, not a call center, before I set up an internet cafe years ago. And a friend of mine set an internet cafe up in the next town. He got raided for not having Microsoft software, although he did have it. And then he got raided for not having a mayor's permit. Um, problems with him was, is he set it up and was the American owner. Mine, I just sit in the background. I don't own anything. I, you know, I may fund things, but I'm not actually physically putting myself out there to say I'm the owner. You look at me. Um, we got told come back in three months for your permits because we're not doing them at the moment <laughs> because it was all done locally. Um, I don't stick my head above the uh, parapet, as they say, and I, I get left alone. Um, People will steal from you, and some of the stealing is bizarre. I mean, I mean like my air conditioner on my car recently, I'm not sure what the guy was doing. Because he, he was on about getting another part, he took the part away to match it and everything else. But when I got to the Philippines, I said, just bring it back, because we'll, we'll, I was looking at taking it into a main dealer, you know, because I'm fed up with people faffing about with things. But as soon as it was fitted again, it was working fine. And that's one of the things they'll do, is they'll actually turn around and take something off you. Um, like, say your motorbike's gone in with a flat battery, and then suddenly the alternator is not working. Um, something else is not working. They've done it on purpose. And I'm not just saying this because, you know, it's not being negative. It's just bloody the way they do things. It's why um, a friend of mine runs jeepneys and taxis, and what he does is every part on his vehicle is actually um, marked, even the tyres, so he knows that the tyres have been taken off, because people will swap things on purpose. So you've got the same car, which is very likely in the Philippines, because a lot of people buy X taxis in the first place. So you've got your taxi, um, which is now you, your car, and you also work and drive a taxi. Your alternator goes in your car, so you just swap them over. Then you go into work and say, oh, my battery's not charging. They do it. Um, another one, one of the guys that work for me, I, this is why the logic doesn't come into it, is he already worked, this is about Wednesday, so he's already worked three days. He's got free, um, a free house to live in, because we've got a two-bedroom house that he was living in. Um, that he's got no rent, no bills free computer use, internet, whatever. Everything was there because it, we were actually using part of the house for um, some, a call centre, so he was basically watching over the stuff while it was there, which is why he got free lodgings and everything else. Um, he earned over three and a half thousand pesos a week, um, and I gave him 2,000 pesos to go and get some egg, bo egg boxes for soundproofing, and he never come back. Um, completely bizarre, because his brother and mother worked for me as well. And they were saying, well, we think he's a drug addict, you know, after he's been working for us for a while. And I'm thinking, well, hang on a minute, because he's, he's been fine at work. But he's only been working for us for a week or so. So you're just thinking, what's wrong with this guy? He's probably, if he'd worked the rest of the week, we'd have picked up more. So what can you say? But then on the corruption side, um, you know, people say, oh, about the police taking money and doing it. I've never had the police to hassle me for anything. Um, never been a problem. Um, may help having a, having a police general as an uncle, but generally I've had no problems with the police whatsoever. Um, but a lot of the businesses, you'll find the biggest problems are the people that are already in the business with you. Um, and competitors, a lot of the businesses don't actually make a lot of money to start with. Uh, because of the way the Philippines is set up, you've got people like San Miguel that control so much of the resources in the country that it's very difficult to find something that makes a good good profit. Um, but it's also a fact that the best money is made offshore because you've got Filipinos that can't afford it and expats that count every peso going. So 
best money is actually made off the island. Alright, thanks for watching.